Alright guys, well, <laughs> I am so glad uh, that I got out of the shithole city of Syracuse, New York to beat the afternoon rush hour traffic. I can see I was very successful in doing that, but uh, it is somehow in Syracuse, it is a spectacular spectacularly gorgeous over the top beautiful it was 75 degrees there in downtown Syracuse a few miles back uh, here on this Monday wherever you are September 25th 2023 it is 55 at Bugs and Bugs. 20 degrees warmer in Syracuse than uh, Ithaca and I'm heading back into the goddamn clouds so I guess I'm not in any real hurry to get back uh, to the cold gloomy day waiting for me so anyway I have just dropped off uh, my friend coming up here from Austin Texas to up here to my kind of to my pseudo birthday party Saturday night uh, that we had where a bunch of us went to see an excellent show, a damn good show, beat all of our expectations, the Old Crow Medicine Show uh, in Ithaca, New York on Saturday night. It was a fine time had by all who made it, so uh, <laughs> I guess we had two casualties from my from my birthday party, one of which I've already mentioned. And uh, so anyway, uh, so we meet for dinner. So there were supposed to be ten of us meeting for dinner, and nine of us managed to, you know, get together our various wheelchairs, our crutches our canes, our leg braces, our back braces, our hearing aids, and somehow nine of us, somehow of us aging old codgers managed to, uh, <laughs> to limp with our various infirmities to meet for dinner. Uh, Saturday night. Now, one of our members was w w was so physically afflicted with so many different conditions at once. It was a no-show, but nine people made it. So uh, I guess six of the people having dinner were over the age of 60, I think, and uh, three of the people were under the age of 50 and you know guys it's just unbelievable the amount the the just the percentage of uh i'm gonna have to turn the air conditioner on here just the sheer percentage of time that people over the age of 60 spend talking about our various physical disabilities you, you know our our aches and our pains and our I, I don't know our various diseases our infirmities our our weaknesses just generally how we're falling apart i would say uh, people over 60 whining and bitching and pissing and moaning about how awful they feel it seems to me takes up about 70% of our conversation now now of course I really don't know because I could not hear the conversation because uh, I am pretty much deaf in my right ear I would say I have 75% hearing loss in my right ear and 50% hearing loss in my left ear. 
where I am suffering for the first time in my life a bout of uh, deafness, ba basically being deaf, and, and, and it sucks. So I, I miss the details of a lot of my fellow, uh, you know, decrepit old bags and old farts, uh, just letting the world know how miserable we are and it's just obviously you know it is all downhill from uh from this point forward it is only going to get worse uh to just all of our you know right now i still have this goddamn thing in my shoulder this fucking uh what do they call it? This herniated rib uh, that I've had since working on that goddamn Christmas tree lot. Uh, now, my sciatica seems to have pretty much cured itself. I have to say, I am thrilled to say that my sciatica has taken a sabbatical. I have a sciatical sabbatical going on in my body, which I'm quite happy. Uh, but just going around the table, uh, <laughs> going around the table uh, with, with everybody chiming in, so everyone, uh, at least for the people who showed up at the table, uh, with all of their various aches and pains and physical disabilities and ailments uh, all just trying to outdo each other uh, how fucking miserable we all are and, uh, <laughs> I, I mean anybody under the age of uh, under the age of 50 ought to be listening to this it, it's I understand that you know base, humans we're, we're basically a species of chimpanzee is what we are and I, I've heard that we have a shelf life of 37 years that if it were not for global industrial civilization and uh, shit like antibiotics and shit like that that the you know a, a normal natural human lifespan I've heard should be 37 years 37 years that uh, we should be uh, alive uh, on this planet and then we start falling apart uh, it, it, you know as, as your fucking teeth start to go your vision starts to go uh, you, see, you know your get up and go get gets up and leaves uh, and uh, just every fucking day it, it gets a bigger bigger challenge to get out of the fucking bed and you know trying to make plans uh, with your fucking friends to meet for dinner and a goddamn concert and, and, and you wake up one, one fucking morning with enough goddamn physical maladies to you know to fill up the goddamn PDR as the physician's desk reference that you know Anybody, this is kind of what we were kind of darkly laughing about around the table, looking like a bunch of people in an old folks home Saturday night. You know, if anybody over the age of 60 were, were to go get a CAT scan today, uh, so I guess that's the end of my beautiful day back in the clouds. So I have never had a CAT scan in my entire life, but uh, as the people at the table uh, who had had a CAT scan, as we, you know, obviously we were talking behind the back of our, our latest uh, old beat up uh, friend who just had a CAT scan on Friday, 
and I found out that I guess uh, she should be in a in a body cast lying in a rubber room till the day she dies you know so everyone who had gotten a CAT scan which was everybody at the table over the age of 60 except me you know they were saying if you're over 60 and you go in for a CAT scan they, they, they are going to find this long fucking list uh, of all of these goddamn diseases and fucking ailments and, 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 and goddamn tumors and cysts and growths and bone spurs and fused discs and uh, 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 all of these goddamn infections and diseases and uh, it, 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 it's, it's, it's not like, like it's anything special. It's just like a fucking cop. Uh, any goddamn traffic cop uh, can pull you over for any fucking reason. And, and within 30 seconds, find 10 things to write you up about. I've, I've got five warning lights on my... Five warning lights on my... Uh, <laughs> on my dashboard right now. I, I, I can imagine if I took this beat up old truck in to get a, you know, a vehicle equivalent of a CAT scan. You know, who the fuck would, uh, I, I have no interest in getting a CAT scan. I have zero interest in getting a fucking, what is it, colonoscopy. Uh, I, I have no doubt that if I went into a fucking doctor now that I'm 64 years old and, and got a fucking colonoscopy and a CAT scan and an EKG and uh, all of this shit uh, that the medical report that anyone reading my medical report would be absolutely shocked that I'm still alive that I was able to walk out of my house and drive myself to the fucking doctor's office. Uh, it's just, you know, as my 76-year-old friend with cancer, she flies up here from, uh, so I, I, I think, what was it that she got hydrocodone injections into her back uh, last week? because her back hurt so bad. Uh, she just, uh, you know, say the, the 76 year old woman uh, who already has, uh, has cancer and uh, the serious fucking, I don't know what's the matter with her goddamn back where she has to get injections of hydro coat, whatever they call that shit. Uh, I guess she slipped and fell last week. Uh, she's wearing a leg brace. Let's see, she comes hobbling in on a leg brace. And when she fell, she split her goddamn kneecap open. Uh, you know, she uh, comes dragging in uh, like Rhett Butler coming back to Terra from the fucking Civil War. Uh, and, and, and she, and she gets on, she gets up at three o'clock in the fucking morning, takes a, an airplane to Baltimore, sits in the fucking Baltimore airport for four fucking hours, then flies to Syracuse, then gets in a bus and a two hour bus ride, uh, to Ithaca. With, with, with her goddamn leg brace and her hydrocodone uh, injections and her pain meds and everything else, and uh, she she has no sympathy for us young whippersnapper, uh, 64 year olds. Uh, she said she would gladly trade uh, all of our physical maladies. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, it is, is one of the uh, 
one of the people at dinner said about our, our missing uh, our, our, our missing purple heart in action if uh, you know if they had wanted to come to this they would have come to this uh, it, it's, it's just it's, it's just a new normal uh, <laughs> it's gonna fucking suck it's just going to fucking suck uh, from here on out I feel a a, you know, I, I, I've got these double ear infections. I'm on fucking antibiotics. I, I can feel this goddamn toothache beginning. Uh, good God, you know, I was uh, I was supposed to be going down to Mexico this year, and, and I was going. You know, I was going to get five crowns. And, and my goddamn teeth falling out of my head. I was gonna get fucking hernia surgery when I was down there in Mexico. I was gonna get new prescription glasses, and now I was going to add a fucking uh, ENT. But now I'm not going to Mexico, so uh, I will have no fucking dental work. I will have no hernia surgery. Uh, I will get no prescription glasses. Oh, fuck. The aging process, it is not for pussies. It is, it, it is not for pussies. So. That's that. This is this is what uh, you youngsters have to look forward to. Just as you know, if, if you live to age 38, you just beat the fucking odds. You beat your goddamn chimpanzee odds, and from 38 right on down to the fucking day you die, uh, it, 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 this every day. It, it, it's just gonna get it's gonna get worse and worse. Uh, you have nothing to fucking look forward to, except your goddamn body falling apart, your fucking eyes, your ears, your teeth, your back, uh, your joints, your hips. Uh, I guess if you're a guy, you're fucking dick. <sighs> Oh, Lord, life. Look at this, 63. It is, it is, the temperature has dropped 12 degrees in 12 miles. So anyway, uh, this is it. The rest of my fucking life, I will... Just get up every morning wondering what fucking body part today is just gonna get some god is just gonna stop working is gonna get some cyst on it is gonna get knocked out of line. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ! Get me the fuck out of here. 64. What a great fucking start to age 64. My, you know, the last day of age 63, spending uh, four hours at the fucking doctor's office, getting on fucking antibiotics. Uh, that's how I wrapped up age 63. And here I sit, going fucking deaf. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright. So that's what's on this 64 year old's mind. That was my uh, my whine of how miserable I am and how my whole fucking body's falling apart. Uh, so I honestly don't know when uh, when people over 60 are doing this whine to other people over 60 with their own fucking 
uh, freight train list of physical maladies uh, going through their own body. I, I don't know why we do this. Are, you know, it's like, are, are we bragging or are we complaining? Uh, trying to outdo each other on who hurts the fucking most. Uh, you know, you, you, you don't know whether to be, you, you know, when you're all in the same fucking boat, you, you don't know whether to be more sympathetic to, to your fellow uh, old farts with their failing bodies. You don't know whether to be more sympathetic or less sympathetic. Uh, <laughs> it is what it fucking is. Uh, you know, fucking deal with it. And that, that, that's all you can do. You can fucking deal with it. You can fucking deal with it. Put a fucking bullet through your fucking head. out of here at age 42 his old man never saw 50 and here I am 64 I'm going on 90 you know I I called the 50s the new 90s the 50s were actually worse I mean up until this ear thing the the 50s were actually worse than the 60s have been uh, so far so uh, I mean I, I had more physical breakdown in my 50s and then uh, but as I always say you know I, I compare myself to most of my friends my age and, and, and I look at them you know I look at the missing seats and uh, and my goddamn birthday party uh, you know, I look around at other 64-year-old uh, men, and I think, Jesus fucking Christ, that's an old fucking man. Where did that old man come from? You know, every time I go back to Austin, you know, after being away from my friends just for a, a year or especially two years, and I go back and I, who are these broken down old people? Who the fuck are these people? I've never seen these people before. Who the fuck are they? Where did all these old people come from? I mean, it sucks. The aging process is not for pussies. Oh, Lord. All right. We're going to wrap it up here as we pass the cemetery. There you go. Not one of those old farts over there are hurting anymore. All I'm seeing is 500 people feeling no more pain. Get out there and enjoy staying this side of the grass <laughs> before you're fucking aging, ailing carcasses dumped six feet under the fucking ground so you can find some goddamn peace and quiet. Bye, guys. <laughs>